Okay, we're back to what we're going to do with this free turkey. Um, and if you belong to a union or you work for a corporation, there's a good chance you're going to get a uh, free turkey or a free ham once in a while. At least uh, that's been the case with the Transport Workers Union. So, um, here we got the meat grinder all set in place and we uh, found what I call the plunger and what you do is you put the meat in here and then you poke it down into the grinder. So, it saves your fingers, not that I'd ever use my fingers, but. You don't want to damage the grinder either, so it's important that you have this plunger. So I've been cutting on the turkey, and these pieces are ready to grind. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Now... It's maybe too big, so it might take a little work to get it in there. Uh, I could cut it up, but I didn't really want to. And once I turn the grinder on, it'll, it'll work down in there. And eventually it'll take hold, and it's just turkey meat, so. You know, it's going to take a little bit of time. Huh. Well, something's starting to happen. See that? Don't worry, we won't ever put the meat market out of business because this is not the most fun task. And, uh, I could have taken my turkey down to the store and had them do it, but that was the whole point. I uh, decided to do it myself. See, now we're getting some meat out of there. Starting to come out. And just with that little bit, we probably got it enough for a patty. So, um, and when you're all done, of course, um, all KitchenAid parts can go through the dishwasher, but I like to rinse them off in hot soapy water first. Just because I don't want anything stuck on the blade. It's, it's quite easy. They just rinse that off. And um, now I took the wings and um, the drumstick. And you might say, well, I don't like skin on the turkey. And the thing about this is 
I plan on throwing this in the freezer for another day. And I found that the skin is better um, left on so that uh, it, it prevents uh, freezer burn on the meat itself if, if you do leave it in the freezer all too long. Now, two, two um, wings, of course, and they're they're quite big, so they got quite a bit of meat on them. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see, but I, I wrap the drumstick separately in um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, and put it in the same bag. And the reason I did that is just so uh, it wouldn't get attached to the other pieces of meat because I'm probably going to eat that by myself sometime when um, no one else is here. So that's that for, for now and uh, happy hunting.